guys, how's it going? <clears throat> it's about 5 o'clock, June 4th, Saturday. Just got back from the store. Um, so I'll show you real quick what I got. Um, so for my morning meals, picked up some triple berry blend. Definitely good to throw in your uh, oatmeal in the morning. Antioxidants. Got the ground turkey, believe it or not. That's some good stuff right there. Um, a protein source that I really like right before I hit the gym. It's pretty light on the stomach. Definitely get some shrimp. I don't know why I've been craving it for a while. Then the one vegetable that helps me add in volume, that type of stuff, especially on dieting and cutting, which I'm doing currently right now, can have a lot of broccoli and we're good to go there. And then probably the go-to all, the sweet potatoes. But in actuality, that's not what I'm, what I'm making this video for. This, this video was actually uh, brought to me by um, Adam Neff. Uh, I got talking to him earlier this week, and he asked, uh, really, what are some ways that I tend to manage stress with my 8-to-5 job, trying to start an online coaching and nutrition, um, obtaining a personalized uh, training certification just how do I do it all and at first to be honest with you the question took me by surprise because I'd say in the past couple months since I've been working an 8 to 5 job I really haven't had too much stress so I, I really just do what I need to do during the day and um, then go to the gym and then come home and then Rinse and repeat, right? Because it's not all, always about the grammar or the glamour life. But um, more and more, I got thinking about it. I started like really thinking about when I started bodybuilding, and that was um, let's see, 2000 or uh, no? Started bodybuilding about a year ago. Started training about six years ago, because I just tired of being heavy. Um, as at 258. If watch my transformation video, guys, uh, definitely more coming about that type of stuff. Motivation, gym tricks that I learned, um, just to help you guys out. So, um, how do I manage stress? Really, I picked up, or I I realized that I started doing a lot of these when I was doing my second degree in college, which uh, I was working on a master's degree at the time, and uh, so. Let's, you know what, let's, let's just get to it. Okay, so tip number one. Um, I compartmentalize everything. So I organize everything. I put things in their place. Everything's got a designated place. So uh, that being said, um, at work, work is work. So in my 8 to 5 job, I try to do as much 8 to 5 job related things as possible um, and it stays at work I, I don't have my work email on my cell phone which I bring home with me so in retrospect whatever is at work I do at work whatever's in the gym I do at the gym when I get home what I need to do to get my uh, my site up and running which I'll link that below I'll link Adam's channel below um, just really anything else on the side is all after work so that's how I kind of compartmentalize everything and it seems to be working for me um <clears throat> the second thing second thing is obviously we have to in my mind we have to do something for ourselves every day that for me personally is the gym right that's kind of why the whole the whole reason that I'm doing these videos for you guys and uh, keeping you guys updated now <laughs> um, but yeah going to the gym so if I didn't go to the gym I feel like I'd be an animal in a cage and when someone would open up that cage um, I'd probably hurt them more than help them and that's not what I want so um, the gym is definitely the main stress reliever for me in a day due to the simple fact that um, 
I can just go in, do what I need to do, and not really be bothered about certain things. Um, so, yeah, the gym is my second stress reliever. It's, it just lets me go to a place where I'm passionate about, and I can just get lost in the moment, you know? Like, I don't have to worry about justifying anything on top of that. And, I, and you know, if, if I have negative people in my life... Um, they, if they don't understand what I'm doing, that's that's totally cool, but I can take that out in the gym, so the gym is definitely number two. <clears throat> um, number three, I'm blanking on number three. I had three. Um, so, number three, I would have to say, is probably my weird one. We all have um, our things where we totally enjoy doing them right so let's say going to the beach um, going to the movies playing Xbox 360 just reading a book what, whatever you can think of that is that is kinda my number three so what I'm what I mean by this is because I'm trying to do so much a lot of those little things get put on the back burner, and when those get put on the back burner, I kind of take them as my stress reliever at that point. Because once I get so fed up with something, or I feel like I need a break, I can literally get on Xbox and play it for four months. Well, no, okay, not four months, but you get the gist. Like, maybe a day or so. Um, and that kind of just relieves the stress of everything that I have going on. Currently, what I'm working towards, and, it, and it's just a nice little, a nice little thing to get away from. So, finally, the fourth one is, this one, I think a lot of people kind of do it, but they don't really think about it, um, is every time I get a major milestone done, I take about 10 to 15 minute break just for myself so, and this is even during the work day so let's say I'm doing work and I have a deadline and I hit that deadline I'll literally get out of my chair and go walk to the store to get something to drink or I'll, I'll just get up and stretch move around get get out of that that zone where I've been for a few hours just for maybe 10 20 minutes and then come back, that way I'm refreshed, I'm positive, I'm ready to go, and I'm, I can just kill the next thing coming. Um, yeah. Like I said, I had to think about those for a while because currently I don't think I really have that much stress in my life, which is a good thing. But then at the same time, I'm, I'm trying to do a lot of stuff right now, so it's another thing I've noticed is when I have a lot of stuff I'm trying to get done, uh, I don't really think about things that much. I just keep going and just set it up, knock it down, set it up, knock it down. You know, it's always, for me, it's always been about trying to progress and get better um, ever since I started losing weight and those types of things. So, um, yeah, just try to get better every day. Take the little things, man. Concentrate on the little things. Um, also, picked up a package today. I'm not sure how I'm going to like these, but I'm going to give them a try. Russ Swole, uh for Alpha Elite. I know he uses them, and he decorates his, um, but got myself a pair of Vans in the mail. What's up? They're a little bit bigger than what I thought, so I'll definitely be trying them out in the gym. I don't know if I'll keep them, though, because if they're a little bit big, I like to have firm shoes just to... I feel like I can push things a little bit better, especially in a squat rack, um, or if I'm doing hack squats, something like that. So yeah, I'll link his channel in the in the description below. Um, definitely check out my blog about I just released about um, how boring gets me success. That's right, boring foods get me success. So I'll link my channel or my blog, my site down below. As always, um, or just in general, if you're new, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. 
If you want more of these videos, definitely let me know. If you want something else, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Um, so thanks, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for your time. And uh, catch you next time. Always remember, forge your forever.